Hello everybody and welcome back to Dino Land USA. If we hadn't been here multiple times over the last few weeks. Okay, so today what I want to do is I want to go through and do a quick little update about the book writing. Because if you watched my video yesterday, then you probably saw that the people who are going to be signed up for Patreon or are already on Patreon will have the opportunity to go through and read different chapters of the books. So what I decided to do today is I was already coming over here to do some research, so I figured it might be fun for us to kind of do a quick little walkthrough of the area and I kind of give you updates on what's being done and what has not been done and all that other fun stuff because I have been getting home from work around 12.30, 1 o'clock every night and then working on this book until about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, waking up around 9 or 10, working on a little bit more, and then coming over to the park to either play if I'm at one of the other parks or come back over here and do more research. Because right now I'm at that point where it's like I just not need to make sure that I'm not forgetting or missing anything for this book. Because there's a lot of stuff. Also, remember last week when we did that video of us walking through this area and it was completely empty? And now there's too many people around. So, let's talk a little bit about what has been done. What is the process? Not the process, but what is the, the status? Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I was up till 5 last night writing. <laughs> I think the status is the word that I'm working for of what has been done, what has not been done, what needs to be worked on, how far things are being worked on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So starting off over on our right-hand side, the Boneyard chapter, yeah, which is going to be one of the biggest and longest chapters of the entire book, and it's done. Huge, huge, huge sigh of relief. Everything that's in front of the Boneyard, things like the Olden Gate Bridge, um the welcome to Dinoland sign, all that other fun stuff is completely done as well. So we are getting a huge set or a huge start on everything that's at the front area of the park. This section right here, it's going to be very basic. I'm probably going to be finishing up this chapter tonight. It literally talks about our um, abdomen source right here along with the Asian brown tortoise as well, who I do not see right now. And we'll also be talking about the American crocodile on the other side. Over on the other side of Restaurant Astoras here, we have the Wilderness Explorers. That section is done. So a lot of our stuff is done. I did finish the introduction, aka the backstory of Restaurant Astoras last night. It is a, about four pages probably in the book. Be about four, maybe four and a half pages long. Uh, just going through the backstory. And then I still need to go through, I've got like literally hundreds, not even exaggeration, literally hundreds of bullet points for a restaurant of Soros that I just have to kind of go through and mark off and say, okay, this is here, this is here, this is here, and just make sure that I'm not forgetting any details there. Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama. Again, it's a bunch of bullet points. I just have to go through and organize it into cohesive thoughts that make sense and have it so it's, you know, a good story. Over here, we've got the Cretaceous Trail. Cretaceous Trail is almost complete. I have everything from the sign that was here up until about 10 months ago, which is one of my favorite signs. I'm so mad that it's gone now. But I've got, that is done. The dinosaur here is done, along with the two hidden Mickeys. We also have everything about this bulletin board is complete as well. I think there's only like one or two things that are left in this, and it's just literally wrapping up some thoughts to have it so it looks good and it sounds good and it makes sense on when you're walking through if you get to the fork in the road and you take it right then it makes sense that when you get to this fork in the road and you take it right this is what you're going to see the different details the backstory all that other fun stuff on top of that the big one dinosaur around the corner here dinosaur the backstory is done the walkthrough of the attraction itself is done and half of the walkthrough through the queue is complete as well. I just have to finish up that walkthrough of the queue and that section will be complete as well. And then the last one, which is the big one, is Dinosaur Treasures, which is through the woods here. 
Dinosaur Treasures, the thing has tons of bullet points. I just do not have a lot of things on that one completed, except for the, not the history, the backstory of the gift shop. So we are doing well. I am hoping to have this entire thing in the completely submitted to editing phase within the next two weeks, which is the first time I've actually said that out loud. But that is my goal, is to try to have this entire thing done by the end of this month, which is absolutely crazy to kind of talk about here. But we are going to be wrapping up this video right here. If you want to have it so you are getting those previews of the chapters, go join the Patreon pals. It's going to be worth it. You'll be able to come over and take a look at some of this stuff before it disappears, just in case that book is not complete before the land goes bye-bye forever. <laughs> um, but we're going to wrap this up here. Thank you, everyone, out there for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, and we will see you once again tomorrow for a non dino land slash book video. It will be something completely different. Don't know where we're going to be yet, but... I promise you, it's probably going to be at Magic Kingdom. So until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.